Okay. Uh, I want to talk to you about the dog show and the dog factory. So just as a reminder in your quiz, what you had to do was you had these four types of dogs. I think it was Poodle, Basenji, Beagle, Chihuahua, whatever it was. And you had to create 100 random dogs, uh, put them in a dog show, and then print their, name, uh, print their types, I think. And one of the things they ask you to do or implied is that you should create a dog factory to do this. And the first thing I want to mention is that probably 20% of you didn't even have a class called Dog Factory in your solution anywhere. And some of you just kind of threw everything into the dog show code. And why is that wrong? It's wrong because the reason we build these factories, the reason we build these factories and why this is a design pattern is that we want to build a centralized resource so that if other users who need random dogs show up besides this one, then we have this code written once and we centralize it and so that we don't have to have each individual user having to write, do the work of having to create these random dogs. So therefore, this should be called, this should be centralized and it should have the word dog and should have the word factory in there. If you call it random dog factory, that's fine. But the reason you want to call it this is because anyone that's looking for a class that creates dogs is going to be looking for this word factory because that's what the developers have kind of agreed on. That's just the standard. So you should have a, a class called dog factory or random dog factory or something. The next thing I want to mention is that many of you, instead of creating a single dog, you created 100 dogs and offered them up to the dog show because that's what the dog show needed. There are two reasons why this is not a good idea. The first is that this is just one customer for Dog Factory. You're going to have the idea behind building this centralized resource is that eventually other customers might show up. Are they all going to need an array list of 100 dogs? Probably not. How many dogs should the Dog Factory return? One. It should return one dog. And if the dog show needs 100 dogs, it just calls the get dog method 100 times. That's easy. The other reason why you don't want to pack up 100 dogs and ship them to the dog show is that next year the dog show may not be 100 dogs, it might be 200 dogs, it might be 50 dogs. And you don't want to have to change the dog factory code every time the dog show changes. Makes sense, right? So this needs to be a very generic thing that creates one dog and hands it off. And the last thing I want to mention is where should the random number generator be? Here or here? What do you think? Yes, Mr. Franovic. In the factory. In the factory. Why would you burden every, every single user with having it? And I know why you did it is because in the lab for the pizza, the, the user had to generate the number and give it to the pizza factory. But that was a different scenario where you were using a menu to figure out what pizza they wanted. And you told the pizza factory, you told the pizza factory what kind of pizza you want. Here, you don't know what kind of dog you're getting. So you're using a random number generator. It wouldn't make sense to have five different users each figuring out how many dog types there are, generating their own random numbers. You want to centralize that code. The idea behind centralizing the code is to make it easier for your user. I found the grades on this quiz typical. They were like this. Lots of people with 80 or above and lots of people 50 or below and very few grades between 50 and 80. So hopefully you get the general idea here. Does anybody have any questions about factories? Yes. So the main method, and I, I realize I didn't describe this very well, but in a commercial environment, the main method is typically written by system testers. And all it does is typically it creates, maybe like create a dog show and call one of the methods to launch the dog show, like dog show go or something like that. And everything else, should be in here. So the main method would be extremely simple, like two or three lines, and that's it. Dog show ds equals new dog show, dog show dot show, okay. ds dot show, and that's it. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Okay.